So we have just seen that how we can use this package to run the OpenAI and get some result using the completion model or we can say text the Winji. But OpenAI can do more things. So I can go on the documentation and uh, here on the API reference, you can see making request, then we have model completion, edits, images, embedded, files, fine tune, moderation, a lot of amazing things are here. So what can I do? I can just click on images and see, yes, I can create image just by giving some prompt like a cute baby sea otter. So let's now see how we can do the image creation using the open AI API and then what we will do, we will create users profile using the open AI. Isn't it really amazing? Let's try this. So how do we get that? It's not given on the documentation for this uh, Laravel open AI PHP, but I will going to teach you how you can read a package and how you can get more information about it. So first thing first, this OpenAI is having a facade. So we didn't get any information from facade because it's some kind of magical thing. So don't worry about this. But we know that we are using a package called OpenAI. So let's first find a package called OpenAI inside the vendor directory. So just go to the vendor, scroll down and you will find this OpenAI. Click there. Now we have two things. One is OpenAI client and one is OpenAI Laravel. You will say that Sarthak, I have just installed OpenAI Laravel. Why we need OpenAI client? Because OpenAI Laravel package is just a wrapper around the real OpenAI PHP client. Okay, so that's why we have two. But the real code is actually inside the client thing. So if I open this source and let's go to the uh, responses, then you can see we have here used completions. So completions is here. Similar to that, we also have images. So can we just use something like this? So OpenAI, instead of completions, can we do the images? Okay, let's do this and see if it is working or not. But we don't have to provide these things. Now something else we have to provide. For that, let's go to the documentation for OpenAI and we have to provide at least these three parameters. First is the prompt. So let's copy this and paste it here. Okay, according to this prompt, the OpenAI will create the image. Next, it says N. Now, the definition of N is here. It says number of an image you want to generate. Let's have two number of images. So N is equal to two. Next, after that, it says what size you want because the larger the size, the bigger the size, the larger you have to pay for it. So I don't want to waste my credits just on the images. So I will use uh, maybe 512 by 512 is good. So size will be this one like here. Okay, so everything is done and I don't know what will I get inside it. So I just uh, go die dump instead of echo, I will do the die dump. This is Laravel thing. Okay, so I die dumped this result and we'll see what's going to happen now. Okay, so let's go to localhost 8000 slash open AI, hit enter. It's doing something and very soon we will get the result. Yes, we are here and now if I zoom it for you, you can see we have the data. Then we have two images because we said that number of images has to be two. If I open, then we get the URL and open the full URL, copy this image URL and paste it and see how it is created. So the prompt was a cute baby sea otter. So while this is opening, let's open the other one and this is the second image AI has generated. 
So here we go. What's this? <laughs> cute baby sea otter. So sea otter, cute baby sea otter. Here is this. What about if I Google it? Cute baby sea otter. And exactly, this is the power of AI. But now, as we have decided, we need to have the user avatar for our uh, application. Now, I want to use, I want to create the user avatar according to the name. Hmm. So I don't know what it's going to do, but first I will use uh, the auth user name okay and then i will say uh, i will actually provide everything which i am talking about so uh, create avatar for uh, user with name and then concatenate with this name and I just want one and uh, I just want uh, the lower quality so that I will not waste my credits. Okay, so let's now try. So let's go here on slash open AI and let's see how this is going to be. I'm really excited what should be the result. <laughs> so we get the image and Let's now see how it is going to be. Run. <laughs> this is really bad. AI, what you are doing? I'm not looking like this. So this is really, really bad avatar. So I need to give some more information. So it says that this is the name and some avatar is good. And I don't have this kind of hairstyle, neither this kind of beard. This is not me, obviously. And you can see the name is incorrect. <laughs> so I'll say create avatar for the user with this name, obviously. And uh, maybe I can remove the name and I can describe some more thing. Create avatar for user with uh, cool style animated in uh, in uh, in I can say tech world so I'm not sure what it's going to return me but let's once again reload this page and see how this open AI will going to be uh, will going to generate okay so here we are we have the new image I'm going to copy this let's see I'm really excited for what's coming. <laughs> okay, so OpenAI, you are funny, but you are not that good. Anyways, we are able to achieve what we want to do. So we have all these things. So how we actually get this URL from our Laravel? So we have this result. From this result, we need to fetch the data. So we can say, hey, I need the data. And since we always going to create one image so data is uh, an array so i will first get the first result and from that first result i need the url okay so we get this now instead of this i can say return response and i can say url is going to be something like this okay one more time reload this page and we are going to see what this time ai will give us okay so here we are and we get this let's press command and click it has opened and seems like this is a nice one <laughs> okay so nice avatar we already have and since we know that how we can generate the url for ai generated avatar we just need to push this to laravel so that laravel can store this avatar instead of the avatar we provide from our computer our system i'm really excited for this let's see how we can move 